All right, welcome to the Arcade Buffet. This is uh, going to be a quick walkthrough. We are here at MAGFest. I've got most of my stuff set up, and most of everybody else has a lot of their other stuff set up. Some of it's on, some of it's not. So we'll do a quick kind of walkthrough of it. This is the day before open, or actually the day of opening, just early, early in the morning, about 2.30, 3 o'clock, somewhere along in there. So we'll just do a quick walkthrough. It's going to be kind of shaky, but... A lot of stuff's going to be off. Um, like I say, it's not all ready to go. I'm just doing a kind of a quick walkthrough around so I can show you what's here. the pinball tournament area this is actually sanctioned so if you're here you can come get you some player points pro points these are various collectors that brought the games I brought the flash it's not mine but I brought it here upon the owner's request so they'll be playing these and Papa or IFPA or whichever and or both whichever ranks it is so a couple more going to go on the end after flash there. So. Let's go finish out the pinball and then we'll start running around some of the other stuff before we get done. That's where I'm going to have my claw machine tournament. Got three claw machines over there and going to have ice cold beer tournament. So all those are mine. Get that area all set up. This is an interesting one. There's not too many of these in the US. It's an interesting game. You battle back and forth. Lights go back and forth. It's kind of an interesting thing. It's all in foreign language, Japanese, Korean, something I don't know. Can't understand none of it, but it's cool. Alright, let's 
go over here and kind of walk around Candyland, as they call it. A bunch of different games in these. Some of the collectors bring different boards. They can swap them out. They got fighters and shoot them ups and beat them ups and space shooters and all that stuff. Some racing and other things, which is cool. Unfortunately, you don't have my favorite game here, racer-wise, Hydro Thunder. These are up on uh, TVs and projectors, so that way you don't have to have the big back box and you can make it as big as you want on the wall or TV. It's kind of cool. Saves a lot of space. A couple of ski ball machines. A lot of people like those. Let's go back to Candyland here. We'll have fighting tournaments and stuff throughout the throughout the event as well. So that'll be cool. And finish off some more of the pinball in this middle row here, and then we'll go on down. But we've had this the last couple of years. It's kind of cool. Don't see too many of them, but this one works. This was uh, brought up here by Flippers down in the Outer Banks. So, owner's real nice, sends up a bunch of games. It's always cool. Everything on it works. They don't run it 24 7, but they turn it on once in a while because it is an old game. And then we got some Killer Queen machines. These two first two here are the prototype machines that they came out with. Um, so, they're a little bit different than the Redder machines. All the software and everything's the same. Cabinets are a little bit different, built differently inside, etc. And then here are two of the regular games that are actually production made. So they'll have it be having a big Killer Queen tournament on these as well. Unsure what this one is. I don't know if it's a homebrew or name or what it is. Unknown. Never really seen it, so I couldn't tell you. Over here, they're going to do some bunch of the fighting tournaments and stuff like that um, also going to be doing a gigantic um, sanctioned windjammers tournament so that'll be interesting to watch that's where we're going to have a lot of that all right let's go down the dance rows and see what I call dancey boxes so here's some more chulixes and non chulixes actual dedicated ones, the real ones. Not some of the knocks off. The chulixes and stuff are knocks off. Chulix and Bulix and, and then there's something else that's actually real and I can't remember what it's called. I don't uh, I don't have any of these games. I don't don't have a need for them. Come on, go pay my folks. So this is cool. This was also Donated to MagFest by Flippers, which is really cool. F-Zero AX. It's really cool. Motion, everything works. So, it's really cool. So, sorry we didn't get to the dancey boxes, but we'll get there in a minute. But, I don't know uh, how common Virtua Ons are anymore, but there's at least a couple here. Another Chulix. Another Chulix. Some more virtual, looks like, yeah, virtual ones. And Battle Pod. Don't see many of these. These are pretty cool. A lot of folks love these. And got to still set it up. Got the six player X Men. 
This one, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is a reprint or the original that they put in here. It might be the reprint from the original. They actually got Stan Lee to sign it, which is really cool. He signed it there, and he signed it somewhere else, and I'm not sure exactly where it is. It might be on the instruction card, too. I'm not sure, but I believe he signed it in two places before he passed at um, Awesome Con, I believe it was, in D.C. I think he signed it one or two years before he passed, which was really cool. Mortal Kombat, some of the fighters, stuff like that. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Killer Instinct 2, that MVC 2 is mine. That MVC 2 is uh, another collector's. So, I've got some games here as well. There's another area that I'll have to go to after this in the classic, classic section. It's in another room. So, that's always fun. Put it out there here. Collector's still getting things wrapped and unwrapped. The R type is mine, which is cool. Nice dedicated R type. Down here, got some Neo Geos and other stuff. All right, let's start here, I guess. Rhythm games and other stuff that'll be up and running. I personally am not into these. I don't know about that one. That one might be kind of fun, I guess. Tank, something or another. I guess they're all linked. I don't know that. I don't know how that works. Still working on it, but one of the rare keyboard manias that are actually around. And we got basically a row of goo beats front and back. These are real popular. People play on these non stop, and you might think there's a lot of them here, but you'd be surprised on how big the lines get. For these games people love this cab love the music i personally don't get into it much like i say but they're cool nonetheless it's more of these style cabs i'm not sure what they are not totally sure more music and rhythm some groove coasters that stuff gives me motion sickness. I just can't do it. Hmm. Cool, I guess. Never played it. Walk around here. More racers. Pretty cool. We got one here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. That works. Some more racers. Which is pretty cool. These are real popular. And these are the interesting. You play with ping pong balls and you bounce it in and it does different things depending on how many you hit and where it goes and what it goes into or if it does at all, etc. It's pretty neat. Got two of them. They're pretty cool. So. Go over here and more rhythm. More dancey boxes. Artwork on these things is just kind of neat. They, it's all over the place, and 
it is obviously you know modeled after some American type thing but translation I think is a little odd but hey it's cool it's busy Neon FM so it's a cool game don't get into them but they're cool These are my my games. To me, they look like just gigantic either washers or dryers. These are the two-player versions where you have to have two people to play, and if until one person gets done, you cannot use the other side. So the way they were designed, they came out with another version where it's a single player, and when it song ends on the left or the right, the other player can just join in and play. But that was the next revision somehow or another how that works not sure what these are I've not seen these before but they're new to me these are cool these are neat you get to watch people bang on your drum all day they're pretty neat to watch on this side here we got some of the DJ games stuff's pretty cool again I know nothing about them sound of Altex. it's neat lights up it's pretty but gives me where to go and other stuff so I don't do it much so just neat toppers on these games another one it's on the other side of the other one we were just at and this is about it for this section down here like I say I'll get to the other section upstairs later we'll get in there and get a tour like I said they're still setting up some of this down here this takes a good bit of time to sell these pads up and get everything all tuned in and working right All right, sorry for the abrupt ending. My memory card filled up and poofed. That was the way it is. So, it'll be a little bit of a short video to follow the first one. But it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be all kinds of crazy people that'll be down here. So, we will have a grand old time or as the Flintstones said it I think it was a gay old time whichever way you want to work and like I said I'm not going to walk all around MacFest but the dealer's room's over there the indie dev's room's over there and a bunch of other fun stuff vendors all that stuff's over there it's really cool so it is what it is like I said it's going to be a lot of fun I'm going to run the claw machine tournament and the ice cold beer tournament. We have a pro and an amateur for the ice cold beer because there are some ringers that come here. So if you're interested in playing and trying to be the best, come on out. Pro tournament, I spice things up a little bit. I change the game a little bit. And then claw machine tournament, we're going to have that on Friday and Saturday. So that's going to be real cool. And we get anywhere between two and four hundred people show up for that, so it's it's quite a lengthy tournament. So we try to run everybody by in as fast and through as we can. Like I said, I'm just kind of perusing around a little bit in case I missed anything. So, like I said, going to be a lot of fun. It is actually 20 Magfest 2020. Um, well, the year is 2020, and, well, there's what the badges look like. It's kind of a DK theme to it, 
it's kind of neat so but uh, yeah just kind of neat what's going on neat badge look kind of neat so. yep we'll get her done we'll have a fun time and like I said I'll uh, get the other room and uh, make another video of it so all right well if you have any questions or comments please leave them at the bottom of this video and I'll try to answer the best I can so thanks and see you soon